guys, it's your girl at Iron. As you can see, I'm back for another video. Today's video is going to be my night routine. As accurate as possible. <laughs> now let me tell y'all, I usually start getting ready for bed at like 9, 10 p.m. And I usually go to sleep pretty late, no matter what. And I'm sure that helps constitute it. For the past few days or a week or so, I've been trying to get ready for bed earlier. That way, when it starts getting late, I will pretty much be done. So we're just gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. So to start it off, I just changed. As you can see, I'm gonna work out. And here's the thing. <laughs> I do not work out like that. So I know a lot of my workouts are probably not gonna look good or not be right. So I don't need you to tell me because trust me, I already know. <laughs> And two, I have a really rare relationship to working out. I'll be like really consistent for like a week or two weeks and I'll be doing really good and then I'll just stop. I think part of that is because I like to work out at night because I take my showers at night and if it's been a long day and I get home really late, obviously I'm gonna be too tired to work out. So I might just start like fitting it into my schedule where it goes, but we'll see. So let's get to it. Here is the workout fit. I did not buy these, so I don't know where it's from, but I'll check the tag. Um, literally, my job gave this to me because we were like, they were like, I don't know anybody else who can fit this. So, free workout clothes. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that can take your spot, my love You know, I always see people talk about, I see what people are talking about when they say they feel better after they work out. And you know, I don't necessarily feel better or good. I just feel accomplished. I don't know if that's what they mean, but I just feel accomplished that I like actually did it. I just realized I didn't put it on my freaking Apple Watch. And if you have an Apple Watch and you like to track your stuff, you know, you know the frustration. But you know what? I know I did it. That's how it matters, okay? So, on top of forgetting to set my watch, I also forgot to put on my face mask. I was gonna put on my face mask while I worked out so I could immediately go in the shower, but it's okay because you know not everything goes as planned. So I'm just gonna put it on now and read a book. Um, I need to catch up so badly on this book because I really like it and it's such a fast read, but I'm just such a slow reader and I've been so busy and I'm the type of person, like I have to like focus <laughs> I have to like focus if I'm reading a book like nobody can be talking to me and can't be like back distracting sounds Like I have to really really focus. So I'll do that. I'm using the Fenty skin cookies and cream face mask One of my new favorite face masks. This is what it looks like basically it'll go on white and you have to rub it in and it'll turn gray Okay, final result. Do you know what's also so fun about that mask? It's like, since you have to rub it in, it's like popping bubbles and it's like a little game. You know, you have to think of life as like a bunch of little missions, a little games for your sim. <laughs> that is a way to make life really fun. You're a sim, doing your little daily tasks. 
So I'm reading I'm Glad My Mom Died. I, it's like one of the biggest books out right now. Probably the biggest book out right now. It's actually a pretty fast read because the chapters are pretty short, which makes me feel like I'm getting through really fast as a slow reader. And the only reason I really haven't finished it is, like I said, because I'm, I've am i been busy. And this is the type of book I really want to read when I'm like on my own time. I want to read it alone because I probably, <laughs> I know I'm probably going to cry. But so far... It's really great. Everybody I know who's read it, which I only know like one person who's told me they read it, said it was really great. And everybody's saying it's really great. And it's really heartbreaking. So, you know, I haven't even really gotten to the nitty gritty. So, oof. But, you know, props to her for being so brave to tell her story because it's not easy. Well, <laughs> my friend just texted me saying she needs advice or she wants to vent. So, change of plan. I don't know if she's gonna call me or if she's gonna text. Because if she's gonna text, I could probably still read this. I'll just be distracted. And here comes the venting. I guess I need to take a break because I can't focus on both. No, I get it. I totally get it. I would say everything you're saying makes total sense. And I've definitely felt like that with so many people that I've been with. But I would say... I literally just got off the phone. I had that conversation while I was in the shower. So I'm fresh out of the shower right now. I literally had to wipe off my camera because of the steam. Why did I leave my camera in here? I don't know. But let me go ahead and get dressed and do the out the shower skincare routine. I wash my hair in the shower, by the way. I don't usually do that, but since my hair has been like in that hairstyle y'all seen for like a week because I've been filming like the gel and stuff, crust it up and yeah, just need to wash it. So now I'm gonna put on some lotion. This is literally like one of my favorite lotions. Now, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't always put on lotion out of the shower. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And actually, for years, I did not even, oh, I don't know why my nose just stuffed up. For years, I didn't even know that you were supposed to put lotion on. There goes another person calling me. This one's my mom. Hello? Hey, baby doll. Hey, what's up? Okay, love you, sweet dreams. Alright, sweet, right, sweet dreams. I didn't even know you were supposed to put lotion on after you got out of the shower. It wasn't until like I was having a conversation with one of my friends and she was like, You don't put lotion on after you got out of the shower? And I was like, No. Like, am I supposed to? Like, nobody told me you were supposed to do that. So, yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. I don't do it all the time. Now we do the skin's care. Now since I had a face mask on, I didn't even use any products in the shower because I don't want it to be too much. I don't have sensitive skin, but I don't want to irritate my skin. So I'm going to use Fenty Fat Tone, Fat Toner Water, whatever. I'm just going to put a little bit. This one's running low anyways, but I got another bottle. But it just putting a little bit, rubbing that in. And you really want to take like a minute to rub it in too. And I'm going to do a skincare video soon because um, it's been a little bit requested. Even though my skin is not perfect, but I guess that's not the point. <laughs> then I put this on. I put it on before I put on moisturizer because that was the instructions I got from the person shop I bought it from. And it has worked. Like This is my holy grail. I kid y'all not. I cannot even tell y'all how that worked wonders for my skin. So I rub that in. And I only put this on my dark spots or my acne. Now, Fenty Skin. <laughs> moisturizer yeah y'all see i got a lot of fenty products but because you know fenty you know really she did her thing she really did but we really wrote that in so right now it is you know what i'm not even gonna say the time because that was not gonna look good on me but it's nine o'clock at night and i'm gonna make some food now and then when i finish my food i'm gonna do my hair i'm gonna do a lot to my hair because i really want this hairstyle to last me for the whole week and i'm praying it comes out really good like i'm gonna blow dry my hair and braid it but y'all will see anyways Let's go eat. I just realized I didn't take any meat out because I only took meat out for last night dinner and then for lunch today. So I have two options. I either make ramen noodles or I eat a bunch of side dishes. I have potatoes, I have rice, I have corn, I have broccoli. I'm trying to think. What would my heart desire? Noodles or a bunch of sides? I 
get back to y'all when I find out. I'm feeling very lazy, so it's gonna be the ramen noodles tonight. And then probably, I was just snacking on grapes, so ramen noodles, snacking on grapes. We'll see where that takes us. How good does that look? Mm. Delicious, so ASMR. I'd be a great ASMR person, I feel. Don't doubt me. How was that? And then you're like, girl, if you don't get back to getting to do it. Okay. Didn't that look? so good and don't lie because you and i both know that this looks good like when i tell y'all my ramen smack so much so that when i used to live in north carolina my family would always ask me to make their ramen and not because they were lazy because mine was just that good so right now i'm gonna eat my ramen and i'm gonna watch the latest episode of rick and morgy also i've been practicing chops with chopsticks because it was just a skill i really wanted to learn these are korean chopsticks which i learned that are apparently harder than the Chinese ones. That's what my friend told me, but I feel like I've been getting the hang of it and I'm really proud if you guys have seen where I started versus where I am now. So let's get to it. Okay, so I finished the episode, finished eating, now I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm trying to do. Yeah, so it's super cute. I've been wanting to do it for a few months now, actually. Um, I just haven't been able to wear my hair, and you know, when I wear it, I wanna get some days in. And I've never done such small braids at the top of my hair, but you know, now or never, you know. Now I gotta practice at some point, so let's get to it. I love my hair like this actually. <laughs> now we're getting rid of it. But I'm gonna blow dry my hair because that way I have less shrinkage. If I blow, if I just do it like this, it's gonna shrink even more. I'm satisfied with this. Might just be like just a little tad bit. This is kind of what the back of my hair is looking like. I'm sure it looks pretty crazy. <laughs> but here we go. I just always have to do that when my hair is like this. I literally knew this was gonna happen. But my roommate made some wings. Say, so, I guess since I really haven't started my bird, oh, eat these real quick because it's just two. Let's do a quick taste test. Ooh. I about burnt my finger. Okay, let me try again. Ha ha ha. Oh, ha. I burnt my finger on it. And then, oh. and then I try to eat it. Um, let me let it cool down. Um, this one's a bit more on the spicy side. <laughs> You know me, I'm not super big on spicy stuff. Like, I could eat it, but I'm like this the whole time. It's not that spicy. It's it's more spicy than usual, though. A bit spicy. Okay, I'm back. That was um, a little spicy. I still feel it, but I'm all right. But that was, it was good. I burnt my mouth, and that's what I get because I felt it, and I still proceed to eat that. So, I did that to myself, and I know I did. Time to try this hairstyle. We'll see how long it takes us. More and more I watch 
watch this little tutorial video, the more I'm questioning myself. So, but you know, I'm just far out. I'm just gonna have to stick it through. Um, in part, in terms of parts in the back, I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna try to the best of my ability to do what she did, but if you, I'm like y'all can't see it, so <laughs> I don't really care. simple hairstyle or i do it the next day for whatever i'm doing this is just a very very rare occasion where i felt spontaneous and i just also happen to be vlogging but the good thing about this is if this comes out cute and which it's gonna have to because as much time as i've devoted to this if this comes out cute which it will um i get to wear it like that for the rest of the week into the weekend so yay yay me Whew. yay with this look actually i don't regret saying up. let's see what time it is oh it's only 12 30 i was thinking it was one some people gonna be like 12 30 that's still late go to bed we do it for people <laughs> but no like this is so cute because like i could do different hairstyles with this like even something that simple as just pinning these back is so cute um if we were to have like the top be up so cute like why is this so cute? Actually, I need to braid my hair more because what is this? This is so cute. Like, I think I just might wear my hair like this tomorrow. I feel like that's really cute. I think I'm gonna like literally tie my hair up like this so I can wear it tomorrow. Let me do that actually. I might change the band, but. This is such a cute look. My black girls, you gotta give this one a try. It it gave me a bit of a struggle as y'all saw but oh my gosh the the result so worth it like this <laughs> is giving what i needed it to give like, i'm i'm in love like i love absolutely love how this came out <sighs> oh my gosh i can now go to bed happy <laughs> okay now that my hair is done I can really, really go to bed now, like start my process. I already have started my process. I promise y'all, it usually does not take this long, but you know, my hair was kind of a huge factor in that, so. I mean, I don't really need to lay this down, but I just 
don't want it to be frizzy in the morning. Like I'm actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put this on it so it won't be frizzy. It's not frizzy right now, but after you wear something like this for a few days, it's gonna be frizzy. I am so proud of myself. Like I was always like, why am I the black girl who can't breathe? And I know y'all might be like, stereotype, what? But no, like it's a cultural thing. So it's like, dang, that hurt. That hurt it in me. So now that I can like, I'm making progress to do like little cute hairstyles on my own. It feels good. My night routine is just about over. I'm going to journal and go to bed. First and foremost, I have my gratitude journal. I write three things every day that I'm grateful for. Keeping a gratitude journal has made me more grateful for life and when things get bad, it just reminds me that I still have something to be grateful for. Because when things get bad and you have like a bad day and stuff, you're like, what is there to be grateful for? This was a bad day. So then you really start getting to the nitty and gritty that you're thankful for. Dang, I didn't miss like my whole weekend, so now I gotta catch up. <laughs> Now I have my one line a day journal. Um, you basically just, you know, talk about your day. And I love it because I get to see where I was. It's five years in here. I get to see where I was years ago, last year, and see how far I've come, how much I've changed as a person and see what I was doing last year. It's just nice. And I'm definitely gonna buy another one when I run out because I only have one more year after this year. <laughs> Also, shout out to my sister because she's the one who got this for me. She got it for me out the country, but you can get it on Amazon. Honestly, that's it guys. I'm whipped it out. I usually don't stay up this late before I... See, I usually don't stay up this late when I have to wake up. See, I can't even talk. I usually don't have to stay up. I usually don't stay up this late when I have to work early in the next morning, but I'll be all right, YOLO. If I'm that tired, I'll take a nap at work. <laughs> um, yeah, good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know my hair took up most of the video, but it was cute, right? So it was worth it. Good night. Thanks for watching. I appreciate and love you all. Bye. Can you tell me that I can't